All right, another area where this letter E is really useful is with continuously compounded interest. And we brought up compound interest where you compound it more than once a year. You calculate your interest more than once a year. And that equation was the, the P times 1 plus R over N raised to the NT. Now, this is an approximation for if we calculate it continuously. More than every second, we're going to calculate it continuously. And so this E is that natural number E. The R is still your percent as decimal. T is still your time. And P is still your principal, your initial value. So, you invest $15,000 an account that pays 4.75 APR. That's, um, and then how much will we have after 10 years if the interest is compounded monthly, compounded continuously? And so we're going to deal with both equations. Monthly is going to be every month, so tw n equals 12 in our compound interest equation. So we have $15,000, 1 plus this interest rate, 1, 2, so 0 0.0475 over, what is N? N is 12 because it's compounding 12 times a year. We're waiting 10 years, so that's 12 times 10. If you want to, you can multiply those two together already so that you have 120 and then go ahead and type it in we have 15,000 times 1 plus our point zero four seven five divided by 12 so that's inside the parentheses there and we're going to raise it to the 120th power because we're raising it 10 years 12 months so 120 months so So $24,000, 97. And if it's compounded continuously, we can expect to make a little bit more. That's the PERT equation, A equals P times E to the RT. So that's your $15,000 times E, which is that number. It's not a variable. Don't get confused. And 0 0.0475 is our rate times our time of 10 years. And so we're going to type that in. 15,000. E is right above the division sign. Raised to the 0 0.0475. And I'm going to multiply it by 10. So that's why I'm putting it in parentheses first before I raise it to the power. So we get 24. 120 and 21 cents. So, we made a, a few more bucks. Think of it $23. Um, now, $23 over the course of 10 years, really not that big of a deal. But the more money you invest, the more that decimal point will move. So, had we invested $15 million, that would have been $2,000. And so it's all in perspective about the difference between these two numbers. Um, sorry, it would be $20,000 as it was $20 here. Um, so a tree is growing continuously at a rate of 8% per year. Currently 5 meters tall. Find how tall it will be in 25 years. This word continuously is very important because it tells you we're going to use our little PERT equation. And so currently it's 5 meters tall. That's the initial value times E. 8% turns into 0 0.08. We're going to move it twice times 25 years. Five times E 
raised to the 0 0.08 times 25, 36.9. So what does that represent? Well, 36.9 meters tall. How long will it take before it doubles its current height? Well, its current height is 5, so how long will it take before it gets to 10 meters? So we want to solve the equation 10 equals 5 times e to the point 0.08 times time. We want to solve that equation. Or we want to know when y equals 10 of the y equals this equation. So I'll do this one a little bit different than we differently than we did the last one. So I'm going to type in our, our equation into y equals. 5 times e raised to the 0 0.08 and I need parentheses there times x. Instead of t because it's not letting me use T. So we plug this in. This makes sense because we see our 5 and then it's just going to grow from there. I want to know when the Y value is going to equal 10. So I'm going to plug in 10 here. Now you can see it at the top of the screen but I'm going to expand my Y. I want to see a little bit higher on the Y. So I'm going to go a Y maximum of 15 and then just hit graph again and see if we can see sort of where they cross. So see how they intersect over here? These are going by ones and so you can kind of tell it's going to be nine, nine point something. And so if we use our intersect feature by saying hit the second button and then the calculate, I want to see where they intersect each other. First curve, well I'm on the first curve, I'm just going to hit enter my second curve, it went up here now, I can just hit enter. And it says guess. Some people really like to scroll over. Doesn't matter, just hit enter again. And so my intersection point is x when t is equal to 8.664. Um, and y is equal to 10. And so I just said the height was equal to 10 when the time was 8.664. So how long will it take for it to double its current height? About 8.7 years. And you can rest assured that at, if you round up, it will actually be double its current height at 8.7. And you could go back and type that in. We said 25. What if we said 8.7? Sure enough, 10 meters. Well, we'll play around with some more of these in class. Let's do it.